Hello strangers, it's me. I have gone on like a six month hiatus from vlogging and I decided today's the day that I'm gonna make another vlog and catch you up on my life and check in and yep, just let you know what I've been doing for the past like six months. I have this really bad habit of like giving myself all these goals and like all these ideas. I'm an idea person. And then I go to execute them and I vastly like overcomplicate things and stress myself out. I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I'm like almost five months pregnant. So that's what I've been doing. We entered wedding season and we went on family vacation. I've just been working and being a mom and and being pregnant took me down for the count for a while. So I was kind of like knowing in the back of my head I wanted to get back to vlogging, but every time I went to do it, it was like something else came up and I was like, I, I don't even have the capacity to like think about doing that right now. Yeah, I can't promise this is gonna be consistent, but I do have some goals of just things I wanna talk about, especially with this pregnancy and just for myself again, documenting everything. Because I've been doing a lot to prepare myself for postpartum and, and having a newborn again with a toddler. This is just gonna be like a catch up vlog. I'll give you kind of like an update about my life and then some things that I wanna to talk to you guys about in the upcoming videos. Welcome back to my channel. I missed you guys. I hope you missed me. <laughs> I started the activewear boutique, which is called Serotona. Um, that launched in August, and I, again, overloaded myself and haven't done a ton of new inventory launches since October um, because I got pregnant and I was pretty sick, and then um, the holidays hit. So I'm planning on getting back to that in the new year, um, but that's great. I love it. It's you know, it's fun, it's something for me to do that is something that I'm interested in and can just kind of do from home. Um, yeah, we had wedding season, so I think I've talked about it before on the vlogs, but my husband and I own a photo and video company um, that specializes in weddings. So the fall is a really busy time of year for us. So we were working pretty much every weekend from September until Thanksgiving. Um, so that's kind of settled down. We're just like in the editing phase slash booking phase for next year. And then personally, um, I'm still working on my, you know, fitness, like fitness is always going to be a part of my life. Um, I did take a little break because first trimester problems, I was really nauseous and had no energy. Um, so I took a little break, um, put my personal training on pause but I'm picking things up again in the new year. I've been back to the gym for about five weeks now. Um, I went back at like 14 weeks. Um, I took a break from like eight weeks until about 13 weeks. I can't handle being nauseous and then going to the gym on top of that and lifting heavy weights and it was just a lot. So I did what I could and listened to my body and now I'm back to it. I didn't know how I wanted to approach my fitness during this pregnancy. I just knew I definitely wanted to keep lifting and I came to the conclusion that having an expert's guidance through this was definitely going to be like really important to me because I don't have the time to figure out what is best to do during pregnancy and what is safe. Like I don't have the time to research that. I have my own things I'm working on and taking care of Grayson. So paying a professional is a priority to me. So that's what I'm doing. Nutrition wise, I've just been eating, um, trying to eat like a reasonable amount of calories that's, you know, proportionate to what I need during the second trimester. Really focusing in on getting um, adequate amounts of protein, all the fruits and veggies, indulging when I want to. It's been the holidays, so yes, I've had uh, way too many baked goods. Um, but I've just been enjoying myself and allowing myself to not obsess over things, which is a huge step for me because I've always been the person that either like overcomplicates things and goes like way too obsessive or like binges out. So still learning that kind of relationship with food. Like I don't want to gain 65 pounds like I did with Grayson. 
Um, so right now I'm at like a way more manageable weight gain that's actually healthy for pregnancy and not um, going to result in excessive amounts of weight for me to lose after pregnancy. The main things that I've really been working on that are near and dear to my heart and a lot of the reason why I started this channel is healing myself um, from just the trauma of birth and postpartum. I finally started therapy. Finally. Like, I can't believe that I waited as long as I did. I'm super thankful for everything I did with the naturopathic doctor I was seeing and everything that they helped me with as far as my my wellness goes, but man, there's a lot of work I need to do in regards to childhood trauma and everything I went through with Grayson. So I just want to talk a little bit about that and then I'll catch you guys up on like what my plans are for the next few videos and where we're going with this channel and hopefully it can be a little bit more consistent. So yeah, let's talk about therapy. Therapy is something that I really wanted to start um, because I, I wanted to go into this new pregnancy and postpartum experience with as much support as I possibly could have. Mentally, like just preparing myself for what's to come and knowing the experience that I had with Grayson, I just like, I don't want to go through that again. I want to be able to enjoy that phase of my child's life and fully be present and thankful for the season I'm going through, even if it's hard. Um, so there was a lot of things that I went through with Grayson that I needed to heal for myself. I've gone to like three or four therapy sessions now and I'm going to be seeing her twice a month starting in the new year. And she's also going to be my doula. Um, I felt it was really important. That's kind of like why I started seeing her. A friend recommended her to me for her doula services. And then I found out she does therapy focusing on postpartum um, trauma in general and just like that just really spoke to me. Ben and I had a really great experience with the whole birthing process. Um, I really got what I wanted with Grayson as far as the birth goes. I did everything unmedicated um, and natural vaginal delivery. We had like almost two hours of skin to skin um, after he was born. They did pretty much all the tests that they could on, with him on my chest. That time was really special leading up until his vitals were unstable and we had latching issues and his blood sugar was unstable and he had to go to the NICU. My main concern with having a doula um, is one, I don't know what's gonna happen with this labor. It could be just as long as Grayson's, which was 26 hours. It could be really short. I could experience different pain than I did. Like I didn't have any really back pain, back like contraction like pain um, during his delivery. So a lot of it was just front belly um, pain. And I felt like my labor and delivery nurses and Ben really helped me work through that. But I want a doula there to help, you know, be a support person, help Ben, and also help me stay out of that negative headspace of like worrying about what's coming next, like what is going to be the experience after the baby is born. Just because of the trauma of Grayson going to the NICU, um, I really want to work on using that as knowledge that will help me if that happens again and not focusing on that being a trigger during labor. That's going to send me into like a panic state of mind because when you're in labor like those are just not the places you want to go to mentally uh you want to be as present in just breathing and being being self-aware um and being positive and also educating myself about breastfeeding so i've talked about this in previous vlogs but breastfeeding with grayson was really difficult i was super uneducated um, we went through a lot of really really hard things that at the time, um, the best thing I felt like for myself and Grayson was to switch to formula feeding. Going into this pregnancy and having this baby, I knew that I wanted to breastfeed this baby. So that was a huge part of like, I think a lot of the things that I went through with Grayson and postpartum depression was, you know, the NICU stay that I've talked about and the struggles with breastfeeding. That's gonna be a big part of this. this the whole reason I started this channel was to talk about my postpartum recovery, both physically and mentally. 
Um, so losing the weight that I gained during pregnancy was like a big part of this journey and balancing my hormones. Um, but I really want to focus on like the mental health aspect because it's such a huge part of my life and my story as a mom and um, really going to set the stage for what's to come when our daughter is born. So that's kind of like what my life has been. I know it's kind of like a ramble about a bunch of different things, but um, my goals for the next few videos are to talk a little bit more specifically about what I'm doing to educate myself um, in regards to breastfeeding and just share my experience and also get any feedback from moms who have breastfed. That's gonna be really beneficial for me is just connecting with moms who have gone through similar experiences. And then I also wanna talk about like pregnancy and fitness and just continue to get update you guys about like what I'm doing in regards to that. And then just take you along like preparing for a baby and like what my personal recommendations are as far as like what things are important to focus on in pregnancy and postpartum and all of that and um, what it's gonna be like being a mom of a toddler and a newborn. Um, and just, yeah, sharing motherhood with you. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it if you've made it this far through my rambling. Welcome back. I can't wait to share more stuff with you about my whole journey in this pregnancy. And um, if you want to check out any of our pregnancy announcement or our gender reveal, I've uploaded those videos um, under my shorts on YouTube, or you can go on my Instagram at Jennifer M. Bodner and watch them under my reels or go to my TikTok and watch them as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.